Well, good morning, everybody. It's me, Mitch, and in the kitchen, I'm going to cook my first meal of the day. I waited until almost two o'clock in the afternoon. I think this is going to be an OMAD meal for me, one meal a day. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make steak and eggs. I've had the steak sitting in the sous vide now for about two hours and it's up to temperature and perfect. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my carbon steel pan here too high. I'm going to put a little butter in the pan and going to get the steak out of the sous vide. There it is. I'm going to unplug this and we're done with this for now. I've got myself some paper towels to blot off, to blot off the steak. So we will cut open the sous vide bag. Put the steak into, well, on the paper towels and blot it really good. Now, for those of you who leave comments to me saying that it takes too long to do it this way, that it's too much work, so far, I've got seconds worth of work invested in this meal so far. It took me less than a minute to plug the sous vide in, set it, and put the steak in. So for the last two hours, I wasn't working. The sous vide was working. Sometimes when you make a dish, you have to leave it in the oven for eight hours or a slow cooker. You don't consider that work. Okay, I've got the uh, butter on the pan. I've got the steak ready to go. I hadn't salted this yet, so I'm going to, going to salt it on both sides before I, I sear it. It's a nice little ribeye that I got on sale at Publix, I think almost a year ago, for $5.99 a pound. So it was, it was a bargain. Gonna need the tongs, gonna need my plate, and I'm gonna turn on the range hood. Sorry about the noise. I'm gonna start by searing the steak back side first to the edges. Just to sear them off a little bit. Turn the heat down just a tad. And we'll put the steak in there to sear. And it should take maybe a minute, minute and a half. And while that happens, I will get my, get my eggs ready to go. Now this is all about timing. This whole breakfast doesn't take very long to make. I've got four eggs left here in the in this particular container so we'll just make this a four egg omelet these look like pretty nice size eggs they got big yolks a little yellow orange in color which is nice three four we'll let that steak get a good sear on it ah. the last one always holds you up try not to get any shells in there perfect perfect so with this Excuse me while I beat my eggs. Thank you. All right, let's flip the steak. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. 
beautiful sear. Let it sear on the other side. And take a breath. The total cook time of this entire breakfast is going to be less than five minutes. Steak and eggs with a sous vide and seared steak. Four eggs in the carbon steel pan, in the butter left over from searing the steak, probably all in less than five minutes. So while the steak is resting a little bit, that'll give me time to cook my eggs and it should all be hot and ready to eat when I'm done. You can go to my website at oldguycarnivore.com. On there, I've got a page that says links to stuff I use every day. These links take you to Amazon affiliate links of mine. And when you buy something through these links, it helps support the channel. Here is everything I use, every kitchen tool, gadget, and everything else. If you think... And there's no obligation, but if you think you might want to get some of the stuff that I use in my videos and do this yourself, whether it be food, supplements, kitchen appliances, tools, gadgets, frying pans, whatever, I would really appreciate it. Oldguycarnivore.com links to stuff I use page. Doesn't cost you a dime more, and you're really helping me continue to do what I do. Thanks so much, and let's get back to it now. This is a great, great first meal, and it may be my only meal of the day. Let's see how that looks. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to remove the steak from the heat and put it on the plate. Going to put the eggs in the pan, turn the heat down. This pan probably will retain enough heat to cook these eggs even off the burner because carbon steel is fabulous and really, really holds its heat. And let these eggs cook. myself some utensils ready to eat my OMAD first meal of the day while the eggs are firming up and it'd be interesting to see how they taste having been cooked in all of this butter and steak juices should be pretty good should be pretty good so This carbon steel pan is pretty well seasoned and the egg just slides around on it, which is exactly what we want. When you get a, a well seasoned carbon steel pan, things don't stick to it. And even if they stick a little bit, the cleanup is very easy. And worse comes to worse if you have to. It takes only a few minutes to use a chain mail scrubber like this one here. To lightly clean out the pan with water and then do a quick, do a quick re-seasoning. So let's see if we can flip this over. Beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. Just the way I like it. Shut the heat off now. And that was it. That's how long it took. You saw it. I didn't stop this or make any breaks in it. You saw how long it took to prepare this beautiful, beautiful omelet 
sear the steak, all that in carbon steel and nothing stuck to the pan. All I'll have to do is basically just wipe this pan out with a paper towel. Don't even have to wash it. And that's it. That's my breakfast. Steak. A sous vide ribeye. Four eggs. Cooked in, let's call it steak butter. Ought to be fabulous. So with that, I'm going to eat my breakfast. Let's cut into the steak and see what it looks like. Not a not the thickest of steaks, but as you can see, it's done medium rare from edge to edge with a good sear on the outside. This is going to be fabulous and I'm going to eat it while it's hot. So while I'm enjoying my breakfast, you guys take the rest of the day off and eat meat.